Recently, I bought an old coin collection that had two coffee cans full of coins, as well as two bags full of coins. In part one, the old coffee can that I searched had buffalo nickels and V nickels, and if you missed that video, I'll have a link to it down below. This is part two of this coin collection, and for today's hunt, we're gonna go ahead and hunt this bag of pennies along with this can. Let's see if we have any rare pennies in this collection. Hey everyone, it's Rob Fiennes Treasure and welcome back to the channel. I said what I need to say in the intro, we're gonna be hunting a big old coffee can full of pennies. And if you missed part one, I said that this coffee can has mostly copper cents in it, but there are some coins from the 80s and even in the 90s, apparently, these coins were collected from 1994 or 5 and back. And I don't know what the exact story of it is. All I know is I purchased them at face value because most of this should not be any wheat cents, mostly copper and zinc cents. Along with this, I bought this old bank bag. And this has rolled coins and it has a bag of wheat pennies in here. And a lot of these rolled coins are the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, all copper cents. So obviously, I'll be going through these as well to see if we have any varieties. Now, I will be using my penny coin hunt mat because more specifically, I'm not just looking to see if we have old wheat cents or better dates. I am looking for varieties. And like I said in part one, I'm assuming that the person who collected these and tossed them in cans probably didn't have a loop or a scope to look for varieties. So I'm hoping to score one or two of those if we can. Now I will have part three going through this bag of an overhead camera. And we'll be going through this bag one at a time in here to see what we got, but that's gonna be part three. Let's move on to part number two. This is gonna take a long time, kind of like my intro, so I'm gonna get right after it. I'm gonna start with the coffee can. I'm just gonna grab handfuls of these out, dump them down and go through them. If I find a variety or wheat scent, I'll bring you guys back in. Or if I find nothing, I'll bring you periodic updates on the can to let you know what we got. Fingers crossed for some good finds. Let the hunt begin. We're going to have our first wheat scent of the hunt. This one's going to be a 1955 Denver. So we're on the board with the first wheat penny found. Probably about five handfuls in. That's the copper so far. That's the zinc scent so far. And yeah, let's find some more goodies. Cruising right along, we got 359, the 69S, probably about a fourth, maybe a third of the way through the can. No varieties yet, but we have our second wheat scent peeking out. Not expecting to find a lot of wheat scents in this can. 1952 Philly, just hoping for some varieties if we can get lucky. So far, we're not. All right, let's keep looking for more. An eternity later. Well, it's been a few hours and I finally finished that coffee can. Unfortunately, there's gonna be no varieties found in the coffee can. And if you're wondering about the mix, we have six pounds and two ounces of copper, and we have four pounds and four ounces of zinc scent. So pretty much a 60-40 split. 60% 60 of the can was uh, weighted in copper, probably a little more than that as far as um, being closer as far as penny to penny because these weigh less. But either way, about 60% of the weight was copper, 40% was zinc. We got six 1959s, I pull them out all the time, and we did get three 69 S's. I'll tell you, as far as the scents in here, the zinc scents are mostly gonna be 1989 to 1993. All of them pretty much Denver, obviously no close AMs and things like that. And then as far as the Copper cents go, a good mix of dates, 1959, obviously through 1982. But I'll tell you, the bulk of the 63s and 68s were darkened or had fire damage or something wrong with them. And so, anyway, that was odd that I saw that. Like, maybe there was a 68D and a 63D roll that was subjected to uh, maybe a house fire or something. All right, that's only part of the hunt. This was the one I was less excited about. I'm more excited about what's in this bag. And I do want to spend a second on the bag because take a look at this bad boy. It's got a locking feature where you zip it up all the way and then you push this down and it locks it and then you can take the key out or you can uh, unlock it. But yeah, kind of a cool bag, kind of a cool feature and even has the instructions right here. Probably an older bag, but in this bag, there is a 
I guess, saran wrap or a Ziploc bag of weed scents and then a whole bunch of rolls. What I'm gonna do now is start going through these rolls that say 70s, and I don't know if that's 1970 S or 1970s. So it could have a mix of dates, but I'm gonna go through all of these. Any rolls that are wheat scents, we are gonna toss to the side and do the wheat scents last. Let me next lay out all the rolls. I'll put them on the mat. We'll see what the dates look like, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, we've got all the rolls on the mat. Everything's out of the bag here. The one roll that has 1900s and 1940s I put on top of the bag of wheat scents, but we have more wheat scents based on what the rolls say. 40s and 40s, and you'll notice I put the rolls as they get smaller. 50s, 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 60s, 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 and then a bunch of 70s, and as if to answer the question, I think this one is going to be 70 S's, which will check for any small or large dates as well. And then three rolls that don't have any markings on them, but one's kind of torn. So I think we'll do these rolls first, but I just wanted to give you a bird's eye look, and I'll grab all the 40s and 50s, and I'll put them over here for now. And of course, if they are truly labeled correctly, and there are wheat scents, we'll look for varieties in all of the wheat scents that we have there. All right, starting it off, we'll get with these three rolls here. Then we'll move on to the 60s and 70s and see if we can add any more goodies to the board. Really quickly, I wanted to give you an update. I just cracked open that very first roll that was torn and based on the edges, they have been in there for a long time. And based on what I'm seeing, it's a mix of dates in the 70s and maybe 60s. So I'm gonna start going through these for varieties. Let me finish these three rolls. Once I get them done, I'll bring you back with any findings. Of course, if I find something nice along the way, I'll bring you back early. So we finished the three rolls. I like keeping the vintage wrappers. I'm probably not gonna keep that one because it's damaged, but I'll keep those. All we added was a 59 Denver and a 69 S. To that, they all were the 70s, probably just like these. Next up, we're gonna work backwards. We're gonna do the 70s. Obviously, I'll go through the 70s's. If I find something worth mentioning in these rolls, I'll bring it back in or I'll bring it back with a recap of what we added to the board after those rolls. Unfortunately, the 70s had no varieties. Pretty boring and even that roll that said 70-S was just 70s, not 70s's. Time to move on to the 60s. A lot more varieties to look for in these years, although I have a lot less rolls. I'll be back with a recap of those. And after that, remember, we're gonna move on to the weed scents next. Unfortunately, the 60s were a bust as far as varieties as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the board here now. We're gonna end up getting, what is that? 759s and five 1969 S's. I'll get those put away. Copper is definitely stacking up from this hunt. And we still have the bag of weenies plus this older roll, if everything pans out. But now I'm gonna work on the 50s and the 40s. I'll do the 50s first, show you what I got. If we have any varieties, again, I'll bring it back in. Otherwise, I'll bring it back in after I've got the 50s sorted on the mat. We have officially finished going through all of the 50s rolls that we had, pretty much as expected. None of them have the DDOs, no D over D, no BIE errors, things like that. And we even had a couple of 59s in there as well, which are part of the 50s. So, Pretty much as expected, nothing great there, but a lot of weed scents. Now we're gonna knock out these 40s and see if we have any steel scents would be nice. And of course, any varieties as well. Let me go ahead and do that. I'll be back if I find something worth showing or I'll be back with a recap of the two rolls of 40s weed scents. I'm back really quickly because I just dumped out the first roll of 40s weedies in my hand and put them on the mat because we definitely have some steel scents. They don't appear to be in great shape, but it's good to see them. Maybe we'll have a 43 copper. Just kidding, but let me go through these. I'll be back in a moment with a recap, or like I said, with a find. We have searched through all the 40s. No good goodies in there, but we do have 1940 through 1949 covered. Just a handful of steel scents, all pretty rough shape overall. And like I said, no variety. So we're striking out on varieties, but we are adding a good amount of copper and weed scents to the stack. And we still have the bag, plus the little roll to go. And I don't know if this roll is gonna be 1900s or 1940s, so we'll have to peel it open and see. Let me open up this roll next before we get to the bag and see if this is just some more 40s or if we have some earlier dates. Well, I just peeled open the roll and laid it out and I do see a couple of older dates as well as some from the 40s and some more steel scents. 
So I figured we'd run through this really quickly together. That's a nice 36. I'll check that for any doubling. That is a 26 Denver. All right, we do have some older ones in here. Here's a 1912. I believe that's a 12 Denver as well. Yeah, 1912 Denver. So this might be the best roll of the bunch so far. Well, it's going to be the best roll. 1934, 1934. There's another 36. What else we got in here? 1928. We'll put that with the 20s. A 1919 with the mid mark. Look like San Francisco. 1939. And I think that's a 38. Nope. 1928 Denver. Pretty corroded, but at least we have a date on there. We got an early one, 1910. What do we got here? 1935, I believe. And it looks like we go into the 40s here. 48, 45, 45, 46, 43, 41. And a couple of more 40s. All right, so we have a couple of teens, 20s, and 30s, which is good. Let me double check all these, get them where they go, report back with you, and then we'll work on the bag last. All right, nothing else to report on that little tiny roll. The best finds are going to be the 1910, the 1912 Denver, even though it's corroded. It's a pretty nice 1919 uh, S overall. And then, of course, the best couple of dates in the 20s are going to be the 2060D. And the 20 AD, although that one's pretty beat up. And then all the 30s were uh, 235s, not 236s. And the 36 did not have any doubling. Pretty good detail. Kind of cool toning. But yeah, nothing really to write home about on that little roll. Other than the fact that we got a better date 12D and a better date 26D. All right. That concludes the roll part. Now we're up to the bag. I have no idea. This could be a bunch of 40s and 50s only in here. But we got to go through it and uh, see if we have anything fancy schmancy. I'm going to go through it now off camera. And of course, if I have something really nice, I'll bring you guys back in. Otherwise, I'll just plug them in on the board where they belong. Well, we have finished going through all the goodies for today. And unfortunately, and kind of expectedly, pretty tough wheat scent hunt. Obviously, I had some optimism going in with some of those rolled coins. We had a few better dates, the 12D, the 26D, the 28D, and I even added a 38 Denver. We also had that 1919S, but outside of that, no varieties kind of odd. Thought I'd get like a 41 DDO or something, but no varieties. We got a handful of steel scents, and the best one was the one I put on top right here. Nice and original 1943S in decent shape as far as for being out there for so long. We did score a total of 10 pounds, 10 ounces of copper, not including what's on the board. I've got some wheat pennies for my collection. I got some more 59s, as you know, I pull aside and a couple of 69Ss as well. On top of that, we scored another nice coffee can and a really cool bag that I'll hold on to. Keep in mind, we still have over here this bag to go through, which I will go through in the part three of the series. What I'll probably do for this bag is just set up the overhead and just run through these. I'm not expecting much. You know, these are Littleton envelopes and Littleton pretty much sent you slick, clean coins because when they sent these out to people to fill their collections, that was before the grading days and it didn't matter whether they were cleaned or not. So it could be a tough hunt in here, but you never know. We'll go through that in part three. Part two was tough overall as far as any miraculous finds, but I've had my fair share of great collections that I bought, and sometimes you're going to get average ones like this Wheat Penny collection was. Either way, I had fun going through it. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, I certainly would appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, happy stacking, and thanks for watching.